Hello, hummingbirds. It's Miss Ressi. This week is our STEAM week, and we are doing some science, technology, engineering, art, and math projects. So this project is going to be, gosh, it's all of them. It's math, and it's science, and it's engineering a little bit too. Um, we're going to build a scale. And a scale is something you use to weigh things. So I have some blocks that we're going to weigh. And when we weigh them, we will find out which one is heavier and which one is lighter or which one weighs more and which one weighs less. Sometimes they weigh the same and then the scale stays balanced. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to put these away. First thing we're going to do is put our scale together. I have two cups. I have two long pieces of string, about two feet long, and I have a hanger. That's going to be what we hang our cups on. The first thing that you have to do is have a grown-up cut your long, whoops, cut your long piece of string. The second thing you should do is have your grown-up put some holes on both sides of each cup so you can tie the string in there. So I'm going to take one of my long pieces of string. It's a long piece of purpley colored yarn, just a long piece of string. It's kind of hard to see because it's a light color. So I'm going to poke it through the hole and tie it in a knot. So I know it will stay there. Sorry, I should be holding it up for you to see. I'm just tying it up. So this is something you could help your grown up do too. Help them poke it, um, poke it through the hole and they could tie it for you. So there's one side. And now I'm gonna tie it through the other hole on the other side. Tie it together up here. Okay. And almost done with that one. Let's see. Oh, got it. This is what it will look like when it's all done. You can see the cup hanging from the string. So now I'm going to tie up the other cup with the other piece of string. So I'm going to put the string through this hole. Tie it here. Sorry, you can't see that. Tie it up here. Now the other side. Pop it through this hole. Is it going to go in? It's sticking. Oh. Tie it up to the top. Almost done. Thanks for being patient and waiting. We'll be done in a sec. Okay. There. Here's our other cup all tied up. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on the hanger right here. See where this little notch is in the hanger? I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to put this one on the other side. And it's going to hang there like that. Now I'm going to move a little bit. So hold on. Oh, no, I don't think you can see the cups. Let's see. I'm going to lower our computer so you guys can watch the cups balance. There's our cups hanging on the scale. And there's the hanger they're hanging on, just on a doorknob. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one block and put it in a cup. And let's watch and see what happens. Whoa! That cup got way lower. And that cup popped up. 
Now I'm going to take another block and put it in the cup that went up and see what happens. Do you think it will go down or up? Let's find out. Oh my goodness, it went down. Now the cups are equal. They weigh the same because they have the same amount of blocks in it. What do you think will happen if I put one more block in just one cup? Let's find out. I'll put it in the cup over far away from me, okay? We'll see where the cup goes. Oh, it went down a little, but not a lot, only a little bit. Let's try one more in there and see if it goes even farther. Now it's going to be getting very heavy because it will have one, two, three blocks in it. Trying this one now. There's our third block. Wow, it really dropped. Now you can tell it's much lower than the other one. That means it's heavier. It weighs more because it has more blocks in it. It has three blocks and this one has one block. And look, if you look at the hanger, you can see the hanger is very tippy too. See, the hanger's not straight and even anymore. It's also tippy, which means it went down on the heavier side. Let's find out what happens when we take the blocks back out. I'm going to take one out of the heavy cup. Oh, it came up a little bit. Now I'm going to take the next one out. Oh, they're trying to balance themselves out. That one came up too. Now they each have one block and they're about the same height apart, which is pretty cool. That means they weigh an equal amount. This cup is equal to this cup because they each have one block in it and all the blocks weigh the same. What if I take, let's see, all of the blocks out of this cup, then what will happen? Oh, it went much, much higher. And this one stayed down much, much lower because this one still has a block in there. See, the block's still in there. This one is empty. So this one is lighter. This one is heavier. The heavier something is on a scale, the more it goes down the more it tips down, okay? So that's all. That was our quick little scale lesson. We showed you how to put it together with string and a hanger and two cups with holes in it. And then you can weigh things in it. So you don't have to use blocks. You could use Legos. You could use mm, pine cones. You could go outside and find rocks to weigh and see how many rocks make it tip one way or the other and what kind how many of something makes one side lighter and one side uh, heavier or do your best to see if you can get them to balance to be the same that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put this back in and we'll see it go back to being the same there see they're almost the same height i think my strings are a little uneven so they're not quite hanging exactly the same, but they're pretty dang close. All right, that was our scale experiment. Thank you for watching guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.